Hey guys, Rush here with a new video. Today I'll be showing you my instant uh, two wide knot gate or inverter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is my own design. I'm going to be showing you how it works and how you make it. It's very simple. Right here is the input where the lever is. These two wires are connected right here. But uh, first I'll just let you get a little bit of a look at it. Uh, it does run on uh, block updates, so if I were to update this piston right here, it would retract back in. So right now, our output right here in green is on, because our output here is off. When I turn on our um, input, our output will go off instantaneously. So if I flick this again, it will go on instantaneously. Um, the How it works is actually pretty simple. Um, this is it's instant on both edges um, so and I've already tested this with uh, um, everyone else on the Redstone Development Foundation but so um, yeah but you go take a look at it for yourself um, I'll show you how to build it and everything so how this actually works is like this um, it runs on this circuit right here um, this is block updates right here so if I were to uh, set this again when I turn this, when I flip this lever right here, this piston will go off instantly because this redstone wire right here will update the piston right here. So when I flip this lever, it will go off instantly and then when I flip it back on, it will take 1.5 ticks, um, uh, redstone ticks to be able to set again. But I found a way around that and I'll be showing that to you in a second. So that is what I have right here. This repeater must be set to 2 ticks and I just have a wire going, uh, running into this piston right here. Next is a falling edge trigger right here. Um, what that is, is when I flip this lever, this piston will not retract back in until the lever is unflipped. So all I had to do is wire up these two together, like so. Um, I guess the server's deciding to lag. So I just wire the two up, so when I flip this lever right here um, this piston will go back in because when a piston retracts back in that is instant and then when I unflip this lever um, this piston will retract in uh, sending out whatever power to our output which is right here so I have the um, falling edge trigger right here and a redstone torch right here when this piston goes in it will send out uh, power from this redstone torch to the circuit or to our output right here and then when we flip the lever um, this piston will retract back in get off of this redstone torch allowing our output to be off so I'll show you, to, I'll show you that one more time so this our output is now off um, instantaneously and then when I flip this lever back on this piston right here will go retract back in instantaneously allowing um, our redstone right here to uh, flow to our output uh, giving this piston time to uh, highlight our, or go over this redstone torch right here, um, sending in power. Or So this piston basically will give um, this piston, this falling edge tri trigger right here, will give this piston time to reset. And that's how uh, the instant knot gate works. Right here I just have a three wide uh, version. This is like my first design and then I tried to compact it a little bit. Uh, this one is a little bit smaller but this one I would probably use this one because it's too wide. Um, and it's not much of a difference between the two. But you can get a better look at how this works. I just have our um, uh, falling edge trigger right here with the torch under right here. And then our um, other piston right here. So. When I, I reset, that will turn on instantly when I flip this, here, when I flip this, it will, both um, input and output will turn, um, will reset or set instantly or instantaneous, instantaneously, um, so yeah, now let's, I'll show you how to build it. Okay, let's get on to how you actually build this, it is very simple, uh, let's start with our falling edge trigger. Um, Want, this is our input right here. You want to place three blocks, um, solid object, right here with a redstone torch on top of another block and have a piston coming out like this. Place redstone torch uh, right about here and then have another um, piece of uh, solid object right here. Then have this uh, kind this go here. So this that means 
when our block is not here or solid object power will be able to get sent through and then from there you want to place one two three four blocks so you want to place one two three four and then um, our output will be right here I believe yeah right here so I'll just set this set light green I probably spelt that wrong again whatever so um, I'll so just wire it up like this so we have our falling edge trigger done right now so when the lever turns um, back off this piston will finally retract back in so set light green okay I hope that time I spelled it right good I did um, from here now what you want to do is you want to um, wire up our what is it called our this thing right here this is our block update detector or whatever you want to call it so to do that we're just going to place a wire right here and then we'll run redstone wire to the sides like this okay very simple and then right about here is where our other piston will go which is right here and then you want a torch right here so then from here we need to add in a redstone repeater along this side so we just connect our wires up like this make sure you have a block right here so this redstone is still able to power this torch have redstone along the sides right here and then I'm just gonna add a, a repeater set this to ten. Oops. one two so now if I made this correctly when I set this, turn this on and off, <coughs> this piston will go out like that, uh, giving our output power. And then when I flip this lever down, there should be no more power. This piston right here will retract back in, uh, releasing power instantaneously, or not giving our output instantaneously. And then when we flip the lever back, our falling edge trigger will activate allowing uh, giving output to our output right here whatever you want to call it and allowing time for this piston right here to reset so that is how to build a two wide instant not gate um, thanks for watching be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe uh, please post a comment in the comment section down below tell me what you thought thanks for watching see you guys later